Hey everybody, this is Stephanie. I'll be doing a custom album today. I'm going to be sharing that process with you. Right now I'm going to be sharing the products that I'm using. This is the Here and There by Create Paper. I believe this is the Paige Evans line, one of her lines. And I'm going to show you some of the pattern papers that I choose to cut out to use as embellishments since I do not have any ephemera pieces. So I'll be cutting down the envelopes as well as the keys and all those words. That's all my scraps. I like to keep them within the 12 by 12 pad so that way before I cut out a new sheet I have my leftover scraps to work with. I'm going to be pulling out these stickers that go with this line. It's the puffy stickers, the 6x12, as well as these stickers. These are not within the line, however they are travel based. And I also pull out these ephemera pieces thinking I might use them, but I don't touch them throughout the entire process. I didn't really want to stray from the collection. I wanted things to be cohesive and I wanted to get it done in a timely manner. I also pulled in these stickers thinking that I would document it. Yes, we went to Vegas. However, I did not take any pictures since it's really not allowed in the casinos and I'm a sissy. I didn't take any pictures. <laughs> and we didn't really gamble either. So we went on this uh, quick trip. It was just my husband and I in 2017 to pick up his work vehicle. It was um, an old ambulance there from Vegas that they could not, uh, were no longer using. So my husband splurged and we got his work vehicle. We took a plane that way and then we rode back. Now, uh, these are some also some trinkets and um, memorabilia from the trip that I wanted to see if I can include. However, I will not throw away anything that's not used. I will place it into a junk journal. I cannot throw away these things even though they don't really fit in certain areas. So I place them in a junk journal. If that is something that you would like to see, where I place just regular trinkets like uh, tickets, receipts, um, you know, just things that are not generally scrapbooking, but those are your own uh, souvenirs in my junk journal. So if you want to see things like that, just let me know. Look how cute this little camera is. This is the style that I chose to do for my custom album. It is super simple. I didn't use uh, any template. I just kind of um, eyeballed it and just cut <laughs> and I was happy with it. It is not super complex camera, obviously, <laughs> but I'm so happy with it being my first custom album. I believe I sized that at seven by four and a half. So that way there's room for the rings to um, fit and I can still fit a four by six on some of my pages. So yeah, and I pre-cut, it's pre-planning here so that way it does not take longer than it needs to. I have a sticky note, I think on one pattern paper, I just really wanted to use that taxi paper for our rental vehicle. And other than that, I cannot remember any of the pre-planning that I did for these pattern papers. I think I had started it in 2020 in the beginning and then everything kind of went sideways <laughs> with everything going on. So I am back and I am going to just go take it in stride, right? That's basically my mon my mantra for 2020, just take everything in stride. So now I have all these pattern papers to um, match with the photos that I have there on the right. I have used four by six photos with a white border and some three by fours. Now, before you freak out on that cardstock, 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 which is really just recycled cereal box, if you hadn't noticed. Yes, I recycle things like that. I just feel like, hey, might as well use them instead of just throwing them away. I will be placing black cardstock on the inside as well, but I'm not too concerned with it until the end. You'll see that. So I know you see that cardstock, the cardboard, I'm sorry, showing of the camera pieces at the top. That will not remain. I will be placing that with black cardstock to cover it up. And here I am just showing some of the photos and for this process I will be getting all the backgrounds for each of the photos and then we'll move on to the next step which will be decorating each of the little layouts. We were there I think for two days maybe three and then we took the journey driving which it took about a week to get home. There was a little bit of hiccups along the, the way getting lost and just yeah, <laughs> so, but it was still a nice journey my husband and I had. Oh, that kind of makes sense that I started this in 20, uh, 2020, you know, with not being able to leave and get homebound, but instead of it picking me up, it just brought me down because 
we did this trip in 2017 and we have yet to travel again so i'm so bummed and i'm hoping for 2021 to have better a better outlook and just overall a better year we stayed at this hotel and i took photos of it within our window and i just wanted to document that i gotta find the right pattern of paper that's going to go with that. And I'm trying to organize the photos and make sure that it goes um, in chronicle, chronological order from the events of the, the that week. That pattern paper has a bunch of little keys and stuff and says hotel. Of course, I thought that was perfect. Normally, I think this uh, pattern paper is a busier collection, but it just worked out. So that's always nice. I do wish I grabbed more from this collection. The collection that I, um, I'm working with today, I grabbed from Tuesday morning and there was so much of it there and I, I passed it up like so many times till I finally brought out um, my pictures and started working with it and I thought, well, this can actually work. So by the time I went back, there wasn't that many goodies there. So if you see any items from Tuesday morning and you want it, just get it. <laughs> Um, I wish I had the ephemera pieces so bad, but since this was a smaller format, it worked out just fine, thankfully. Now I'm just getting all the background papers to work. Now you notice this doesn't have, um, they are not double-sided papers. I'm totally fine with that. It worked out. I would be adhering the pattern papers together um, with some glue, but I will leave an opening so every single one will have a, a slot where I can place my journaling. So this is why you don't see any big blank spots here on my little layouts. I'm gonna have my journaling inside them. And I will show you that later on throughout the process, if that sounds a bit confusing. This is at a restaurant that we ate. I forgot what it's called already. I think it's called like Bubba Shrimps or something like that. And it, they had nice, decor of the movies like for instance this was uh forrest gump and it was just hilarious and my husband was being so such a goofball and i think this paper pad these two papers are not from this collection so i'm going to show you where i grabbed it from i think yes okay world traveler by my mind's eye and if i remember i think I think I had the embellishments for that, but I didn't pull it in just because I didn't use that paper any other way. I love that wood grain paper. I think it just helps bring in the, the pictures. We went to, I think, a show. Oh gosh, I don't even remember with all the facts. I have all the memorabilia, so when I do my journaling, I will have it all there. But I remember going to that show and I remember looking at their, their stage and it just looks so amazing. I used to do plays in middle school and I think in high school and I just, I miss it and it just, it looks so amazing. <laughs> so I had to document how cool their uh, stage looked and just, it must be so fun. Now we're moving on. This is the vehicle that we got there in Vegas. And so the main reason for this random trip we did in August of 2017 not gonna lie, my favorite part of this trip was watching Terry Fader. He is a ventriloquist who happens to also be able to sing doing ventriloquism, and I just think that was awesome. That was the highlight of my trip, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, this completes the first process for this custom album where I did the completion of all the pattern papers for my photos. Tune back in to embellish every layout.